Hello, students. As a result of last night's Zoom session, we were looking at a couple of homework problems from Unit 30, 35. This is on page 289, problems one and two. And uh, I'm making this short video to go back over those so that you can all see um, how to solve those. And uh, here we go. Okay, I've copied uh, page 289 out of the textbook here, unit 30, uh, 35, page 289. This is homework problems one and two. These are on the homework assignment sheet. And here we have a figure. I'm not sure what this is a figure of, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, what we're asked to do in problem one is find the distance from hole A to hole B, the dashed line. Uh, that is the center to center distance. That's the dashed line uh, drawn from A to B to the nearest thousandth of an inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out of that a triangle. Like that. And I'm going to redraw that over here, just that triangle. Where this is point A, this is point B. And there, this is not to scale, obviously. Uh, we do know two distances. We know the height of this thing is 1.53 inches. And we know the length of this slanted part, which is 1.313 inches. And we also know the measure of this angle right here. That angle is 120 degrees. And we can get that by going back over to the, um, to the main figure here. Uh, we've got 120 degrees right here. And then the rest of a circular path would take us all the way back around to here. Um, and this is divided up into three equal angles, each of which is going to be 120 degrees. Okay, so with that information, what we know um, is the length of two sides and we know the measure of the angle that's opposite. The length is, is uh, or the side whose lengths we're trying to solve for. So there's a law of cosines that it's written, there's three versions of it. Let me write out just one of those versions. Length of C squared is equal to the length of A squared plus B squared minus two times A times B times the cosine of angle capital A. Oh, I'm sorry, not capital A. Take that back. Capital C, where the angle capital C is opposite on the triangle of the um, side little c. So in our figure up above, C is equal to um, AB, the length of that line from A to B. Angle C is equal to 120 degrees. And then A and B are just the other two sides, 1.313 and 1.53. So this is the data that we plug into this formula and it'll allow us to solve for the square of the length of the side that we're looking for. Or in other words, the length of side AB squared will equal uh, 1.313 squared plus 1.53 squared minus 2 times 1.313, I'm going to run out of room, times 1.53 times the cosine 
of 120 degrees. So on the calculator, the keystrokes to do that would be 1.313 x squared plus 1.53 x squared minus two times 1.313 times one, sorry about that, times 1.53 times, and I ran out of room again, times the cosine of 120. And you can put an ending parenthesis there if you want to. It's not really all that necessary. And if you do this math, uh, you're going to get 5.997 for the length of AB squared. Nine, nine, seven, and some more decimal digits. And if you take the square root of both sides of that, you get that the length of side AB is equal to 2.449, uh, 2.465, sorry. Which is actually just a little bit different than what I got the first time I did this. I got 2.449, and the answer in the book is 2.465. So I guess at this point, I would take either answer for problem one. But worked uh, this way, you get 2.449. Well, what I should do is let me check my math one more time. I got 1.313 squared plus 1.53 squared minus 2 times 1.313 times 1.53 times the cosine of 120. Um, got a little bit different answer this time. I got 6 Point zero seven three seven five, and then when I take the square root of that, so second square root, second answer, I get two point four six four. Two six four four nine, and the answer that the uh, the author gives is two point four six five, and what I get is just a little bit short of rounding up to that. Okay, so two point four six five. And the units will be in inches. And then the second problem says, what is the distance from hole B to hole C, the dashed line, to the nearest thousandth of an inch? So to do that, we go back to the original figure. And we take a look at this triangle here. Okay, that triangle has a 120 degree angle and the side opposite of that, that, that angle is the side whose length we wanna find. And the length of the other two sides of the triangle, this is an isosceles triangle, are both 1.313 inches. So let me go down here and regenerate that triangle. From B to C. This is 120 degrees. 
1.313. Both of these are inches. And again, the law of cosines um, applies here. The formula is the length of side BC squared is going to equal the uh, sum of the squares of the other two sides, both of which are 1.313 plus another 1.313, then minus two times 1.313 times another 1.313 times the cosine of 120 degrees. And let me, uh, you can do some simplification of this. Okay, we have 1.313 squared plus another one. So that's actually two times 1.313 squared. And then minus two times 1.313 times 1.313. So that's another times 1.313 squared. times the cosine of 120. And when you punch all of that in, two times 1.313 squared minus two times 1.313 squared times the cosine of 120, get 5.17, one nine zero, and that is the length of side BC squared. And now if we take the square root of both sides of that, there, um, second answer, enter, get 2.274, and that is for the length of side BC. And that is uh, the book's answer. And the units on that are inches. So I hope that clears some things up um, after I corrected my mistake in the first part of this. So there you have it. And I'll see you for the next video.